Low quality LED and high quality LED. This project is sponsored by Altium Designer, which is one of the best PCB design software in the world. By using the software, you can make circuit diagrams very easily. Also, you can design your own professional PCBs. Altium is now included with Altium 365 in one license. With Altium 365, you can share your designs on the web and get feedback to your designs. Visit Octopart.com as the best electronic components site. Octopart gives you the most affordable data by specifications, data sheets, CAD models, etc. Hello! Light flickering can be a common issue and may occur with various types of bulbs, including incandescent, fluorescent and LED lights. Numerous studies have shown that flickering allow high frequency and then totally invisible, it can also cause headaches, eye strain and nausea. Incandescent, halogen and or fluorescent lamp as well as LED if purely designed turn on and off a many times a second and produce light with a flicker at a certain frequency. Here are some general reasons why lights with flicker. Faulty of loose switch, voltage fluctuations, dimmer switch compatibility, loose wiring or poor connections, and most often with LED lamps, LED, drivers, LED driver issues. The shape of electricity in the public network has a frequency of 50 Hz of 60 Hz in some countries. Uh, all the incandescent uh, lamp bulbs are powered directly, directly from the mains, so they flash at the same frequency of 50 Hz, but their flicker is in, imperceptible because they are actually heaters and cannot quickly follow the change, which in this case is a positive future and there is not visible flickering. Uh, in some cases, uh, let's Bulb, uh, LED bulbs were power, powered by a half-wave voltage obtaining by using a one diode and, uh, and their flicker is at a frequency of 50 Hz and with high intensity because LEDs are electronic elements, semiconductors that, that, that instantly monitor the change of voltage unlike incandescent bulb. Uh, even today some lamps use this principle and we should certainly uh, avoid them. Now consider a type of high power LED used in spotlight. In this type of LED the power supply is located on the cooling plate itself and probably uses the pulse with modulation principle without the filter capacitor. The signal is almost rectangular with a large difference between the minimum and maximum amplitude. This type of lamp should be avoided in the home and can only be used for outdoor lighting. Uh, commercial flickering measuring instruments are very expensive from a, from a few hundred to several thousand dollars. In one, in one of my previous videos you can see some simple ways to test the flickering of the lamps such as with an oscilloscope or with a special instrument made with an Arduino microcontroller. This time I will present you the simplest and cheapest way to check the quality of lighting, lighting in your home with a device that you can make yourself without having any special knowledge in the field of electronics. You just need to have some experience with soldering electronics components because in this case ready-made modules will be used. The quality of the lamps is determined depending on the intensity of the sound emitted by the speaker. Also, is the device is extremely simple and consists only a few components. Solar cell, 
Next, small D-Class audio amplifier module. Loudspeaker, small loudspeaker in plastic box. Uh, capacitor of 10 microfarads uh, between solar cell and amplifier. And 4.5 volts battery to power the amplifier. First, first a few words about how the, how the device works. A solar cell is a component used to convert light into electricity. Ideally in sunlight or extremely high quality lamp, a purely DC voltage is obtained at the output of the solar cell. Since the capacitor only paces alternating signals, in this case no sound is heard from the speaker. At the same time, the capacitor protects the amplifier and the speaker from such cases. If a, if a light beam falls on the cell from a low quality lamp that contains an alternating component that causes flickering, this component passes through the capacitor and is amplified in the amplifier so that, uh, so that the hum is heard on the speaker, usually with a frequency of 5 well, 50 or 100 Hertz or 60 and 120 Hertz depending on the main frequency. The stronger this hum, the less quality the lightning and vice versa. In the following we will look at more practical examples of high quality and low quality light sources and how this simple device behaves. I will also test the quality of lighting in some of the rooms of my home for the first time. First I will test two LED bulbs, one from a well-known brand, uh, which I will not highlight for obvious, obvious reasons, and other, a no-name bulb that, I'm, that I got in a market for a 70 cents. Let's see if these simple instruments can detect a difference in the quality of these two bulbs. As we see with the with a quality bulb almost no sound is heard which means that there is almost no flickering caused by the light source. But uh, with this cheap low quality light bulb you can hear a loud hum with a frequency of 50 Hz which is a sure proof that it is flashing with a large difference in amplitude and it is really harmful to have such a lamp for example in a room where we work and stay longer time. Unfortunately, visually, with the naked eye, we can notice we cannot notice any difference between these two bulbs. Now I will test several different light sources in this way. This is an expensive quality lamp intended for selling mounting. As expected, flickering is zero. Next, let's see the case of compact fluorescent lamps, which until recent, recently were very often used in our homes.
so this ham of 50 Hz are also here at higher frequency noises generated by the driver circuit. So the difference in quality be between these two lamp lamps is obvious and incandescent lamp that doesn't flickering at all. This is an incandescent lamp that is actually not fast enough to track AC voltage changes, so it generates flicker-free light. This is low quality LED bulb. There is another, even simpler case if you own a small portable radio with an AUX input. Then we just need a solar cell with a capacitor and short cable to connect the solar cell to the radio and glue the solar cell to the back of the radio. low quality LED and high quality LED. And finally a short conclusion. This way of checking the quality of lighting in our home of or anywhere else is extremely simple, cheap and mobile thanks to the use of 
batteries as a power source and we get the results instantly without any adjustments. As you could see in the video, we can examine the quality of the lighting in the whole home in a few minutes and at the same time we can find the weak points, bed bulbs, and replace them with new ones that are of, that are of better quality. The intensity of the sound from the speaker is, is inversely proportional to the quality of the lighting. In a word, this is a very useful and simple instrument which is desirable to have uh, in the home because flickering is often not noticed by the naked eye and it, is, it, ha it has many negative effects on human health.